is the building that houses the restrooms, the showers, and the laundry. So the shower building over by the clubhouse is actually quite nice. It looks brand new, if not you know newer. Um, so beautiful showers, um, really neat living sinks. You know, very sufficient. This is the only one that has a bathroom and a shower. The rest of them are just showers. Um, this building is uh, next to the um, office slash clubhouse area. Um, that's also where the fitness center is. Um, and this building is actually quite a bit nicer than the one that's kind of in the middle of the park, um, which just wasn't as clean. Um, probably just doesn't get as much attention during the day. Um, but the pool is gorgeous and there is a little hot tub over there. Kind of hard to see from here, but there it is. Um, plenty of seating and the backdrop, as you can see, is absolutely gorgeous here in Moab. Um, and this is a place that actually has um, like rentals as well. So they do um, the RV sites but then they'll do partial, which is just water and electric, which is what we did, or they'll do um, the full hookups, water, sewer, electric. Uh, they do have a dump station for you, it's free, and um, they have uh, full timers that are here as well. So there's a private part of the park that's just completely separate from the rest of it. Well, as I mentioned before, the shower area um, does not have very many restrooms. So they have the restroom buildings. So this is actually the men's uh, because the women's is actually locked during certain hours, um, between 10 and 10, I believe, um, which is a little inconvenient, but there is that restroom in the shower building. So this is a very nice laundry area. Uh, they have a TV and a little seating area here for you if you wanted to wait while you're washing your clothes little uh, folding table there, some paper towels, which always come in handy because of the fact that the my um, laundry soap tends to make a mess every now and then, I don't know about you. Um, they're pretty intense about the no washing of pet bedding or anything. Uh, in fact, they've got a $50 fine attached to it if they notice you doing it. Um, looks like brand spanking new washer and dryers. Um, it is $225 for a washer and 225 for the dryer and they have a change machine which is nice and it is in the same building as the uh, shower building which is right next to the pool you can see and right next to the office and clubhouse area